So this is interesting. We've got late breaking news tonight out of the great state of Arizona, which never disappoints in news terms. All right. I was speaking earlier in the show tonight about a story that we've been on for a while now. The story of Republicans appearing to have forged fake documents after the 2020 election, putting themselves forward officially as if they were the real electors from their states, when in fact they were not. Uh, in each of the five states that we've been able to find the documents from, uh, in Michigan, Wisconsin, Georgia, Nevada, and Arizona, Republicans filed these fake forged documents claiming that those states had actually picked Trump electors who were casting the state's electoral college votes for Trump, when in fact the real electors from those states were Biden electors. Uh, Republicans forged these documents. They submitted them, we believe, both to Congress and to the National Archives to try to pass them off as the real deal. We've been trying to get a hold of some of these people who signed their names to these forged documents to learn more about this apparent coordinated scheme, particularly since we noticed that all of the forgeries from those five states appear to be very similar, similar enough that it looks like they were part of a coordinated multi-state effort. We're still working on our part of that. But tonight, NBC's great station in Phoenix uh, and a reporter from the Arizona Republic caught up with one of the people who signed on to this document in Arizona. His name is Jake Hoffman. He's a Republican state representative in Arizona. You can see here that's his um, kind of amazing signature on the forged fake elector form from Arizona. A cameraman from KPNX and an Arizona Republic reporter uh, named Richard Ruelas uh, caught up with Mr. Hoffman today. And this is what happened. When Bram wants to ask a real question, happy to have a conversation with him. Okay. Thank you, sir. Oh, but actually, uh, Richard Willis from the Republic, yeah. I had a couple of people. That being one of yourself as uh, elected. I'm asking you that question. Wonder what authority did you find yourself as an elected? So in unprecedented times, unprecedented action is occurred. There is no case law. There is no precedent that exists as to whether or not a an election that is currently being litigated in the courts has due standing, which is why we felt it appropriate to provide Congress and the vice president with uh, dueling opinions. Did you have direction from anybody in doing this? Was it you, 11, yourself doing this, or did someone give you advice on the manner in which you can do it? So I'm simply, I was one of the electors, right? right? I'm not in charge of the electors, so you would need How to... How did you hear about you, it? You How would, did you hear about You would need to ask the party chair. How did you hear about it? How did you hear about the plan? Were so you just you, told to be someone? You would need to ask the party chair that question. Right, but you're the, you're the person who received the call. You showed up, right? How did you know to show up that day? So as I said, you can go ahead and ask the party chair the logistics of it. Ask so her how you got a phone call to go somewhere? You're welcome to talk to them about Do the you logistics. not know how you arrived at a place? Thank you. I, I appreciate your Do question. Do you really not Thank know so how much. you got a call? Have a great one. The other question, I was hoping to speak to you. Okay, a reporter from the Arizona Republic there, um, Richard Ruelas. Um, catching up with uh, that man who signed that forged document, again, the camera work there from KPNX, uh, the NBC affiliate in, in Phoenix. I'm supposed to call the party chair to ask her how you got a phone call to go somewhere? Do you not know how you arrived at a place? Do you really not know how you got a call? We're still working on this story, but now lots of other people are, too. We're going to get to the bottom of this.